When I was in CDL school at Millis, Jack said over and over again, it's not truck driving, Tom, it's trailer driving. And he's dead on accurate. When we're making turns, we need to think about where we're going to go and how we're going to get there and what that trailer is going to do. This causes us to make those turns a lot differently than we would if we were driving our cars. This particular road, while it may have stripes down the middle of it, is a one lane road. A lane is technically 14 feet wide. This road's not 28 feet wide. That adds to the challenge, so you have to think about it. Do I have enough room to make this turn? Where is my trailer going to track? Now we're going to take a look at that same turn from the driveway onto the one lane road, the inside of the truck. You can watch the turn and you see that I'm going to go to the far left and make that turn and the trailer is going to track over to the right. This is a tough thing to do and you got to learn to watch where your trailer is going to and think about where your trailer is going to go. If you start your turn too early, you're taking down the fence. There's also a ditch on the left. There's also trees that you got to watch out for. At the end of this road, when I make the left turn, you're going to see I'm turning onto a state highway. That state highway sits higher than the one lane road that I'm coming off of. In addition, there's a nice big ditch to the left. One mistake, and you're going to put that trailer down there. And if that trailer goes down there, it's tipping over. Let's watch as I make this left turn coming out of there. I want to make sure I keep all my wheels on pavement. I don't want any of the wheels to go on grass because if they go on grass, grass is soft and that ground might give a little. You know the pavement's hard and it's going to hold you up. Also, you notice my tandems are all the way to the front of the trailer. The tandems are all the way to the front of the trailer because it shortens the truck. It shortens the overall unit making more tail swing there's going to be more overswing but it's going to make it easier to make turns watch out the window as i make that left there is a very steep hill straight across you certainly do not want to go down that so you want to make sure you make your turn at the very last minute bring that tractor around and you got to keep your eye on that trailer wheel at the back so you've got a lot of things to focus on at the same time you got to watch that front right corner. You got to be watching your mirrors and you certainly have to track that trailer. And then once you've got it all straightened out, you're ready to go. Let's watch this right turn. This right turn is from Highway 142 to Highway 11, two state highways. You see that line on the ground? That's where cars are supposed to stay behind to make the turn easier. Now, there's no cars there, so I went ahead and used that space. Use every bit of space that's available for you to make that turn. If there had been cars there, I would have had to do it differently. Here's a right turn. This is coming from a busy street, so I do not want to go over to the left. I want to go ahead and make the turn using excess space in the road that I'm turning into. Fortunately, there's some space here, and I'm able to make this turn without having to swing out in the road I'm coming from because that could have caused a problem for vehicles that were passing me on that left side. 